Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill me with your power. Live inside of me. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill me with your power. Live inside of me. You're the living water. The never drying fountain. Comforter and counselor, take complete control. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill me with your power. Live inside of me. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill me with your power. Live inside of me. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill me with your power, live inside of me. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill me with your power, live inside of me. You're the living water, the never-drying fountain, comforter and counselor, take complete control, welcome Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill me with your power. Live inside of me. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill me with your power, live inside of me, live inside of me, please live inside of me. Yeah, <laughs> 
We have the word of God here uh, taken from the book of Romans chapter 8, verses 14 to 15. Those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave, again to fear, but you receive the spirit of sonship, and by him we cry, Abba, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Father. That is so incredible that we on earth have God in heaven as our Father. We cannot comprehend that. That is so much different. We may have had good earthly fathers, maybe not so good, maybe some tried hard, but to have God in heaven welcome us into his family is beyond comprehension. How can God the Father have us as his children? I don't understand it. A lot of it is because of Jesus, but I know it's glorious. We praise you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege, the grace, the wonderful relationship we have with you as our Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now, um, I have to, I think my, my turn had just come up to give a teaching on the amazing power of intercession. Okay. Amen. Intercession. What does intercession mean? Intercession means to go or come between two persons to plead before one of them on behalf of the other. Intercessors stand before God, praying on behalf of a person, a situation, a church, a city, or, or a nation beseeching him to intervene for his mercy. Now, uh, what uh, is the difference between intercession and prayer? Intercession involves a standing on the gap, an intervention, a stepping on uh, somebody else's behalf through prayer. Prayer is mainly about speaking with God having a one-to-one -one with him, talking and listening. In essence, knowing God through communicating with him. Now, the Catholic doctrine of intercession as set forth by the Council of Trent teaches that the saints who reign together with Christ offer up their own prayers <laughs> to God for men. It is good and useful supplement, sup, supplementary to invoke them and to have recurse to their prayers. And God, through his son, Jesus Christ, who alone is our redeemer and savior. The Catechisms of the Catholic Church, number 2634 states, Intercession is a prayer or petition which leads us to pray as Jesus did. He is the one intercessor with the Father on behalf of all men, especially sinners. He is able for all time to save those who draw near to God through him since 
he's always he always lives to make intercession for them. So now do you have you have any you have some ideas the difference between intercession and prayer, right? Prayer is just a conversation with God, pleading, asking the Lord for for mercy, for protection, for whatever you are asking the Lord for. That's prayer and then intercession is what prayer or petition for somebody else for somebody else okay so that's the main difference between intercession and uh, personal prayer St. Thomas Aquinas explained intercession by saying prayer is offered to a person in two ways one as though to be granted by himself, another as to be obtained through him. In the first way, we pray to God alone because all our prayers ought to be directed to obtaining grace and glory which God alone gives according to the words of Psalms. Some example of intercession throughout the scripture, okay? And remember Abraham interceding for Sodom and Gomorrah? Abraham pleaded with God not to destroy Sodom. You see, sisters and brothers, God was angry with Sodom and, and Gomorrah because of too much sins that they had committed against God. So Abraham, uh, he interceded for the people there, and he said, uh, he said, God, um, if you, um, if there are 50 righteous men, would you still destroy Sodom? And God said, no, for the sake of the 50, I will spare them. I will not destroy them. And then Abraham did not only, did not stop there. He kept on going, Lord, how about if there are 45 righteous men or women in Sodom? Would you destroy them? And God says, no, for the sake of 45, I will not destroy them. And then Abraham says, if they are 40, and then the Lord God says, no, I will destroy, I will not destroy them if they are 40, if there are 40 righteous people there. How about if, you know, if Abraham keeps on, Lord, I hope you don't get mad at me. How about if they are 30? And the Lord God said, no, if there are 30 righteous men there, I will not destroy them. And then Abraham did not stop only at 20, he said, uh, or 30 and then 20. And then finally Abraham said, Lord, if there are 10 righteous people in Sodom, would you destroy them? And then what did God say? He says, well, for the sake, for the sake of the 10, I will not destroy them. But the thing is, finally, God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. But in personally, I would say, Abraham should not stop at 10. He should not have stopped at 10. He said, how about if there are only two? Would you destroy them? You know, you know he was, he stopped at 10. So anyway, uh, that's my personal take on it. Uh, he should have kept on decreasing the number of people, you know. Now Moses also prayed for, for God to spare Israel. Remember in, they were the, the Israelites were uh, in, the, in the desert, wandering in the desert for 40 days, uh, 40 years, not 40 days, 40 years. You know, so, so um, one time, Moses was speaking before God. And then, and then those Israelites became, they became very rebellious. They had um, uh, idols, they worship idols. They also um, made a golden calf and they worshiped the idols. So, um, so God was very mad at them. And God says, do our these are these lights are stiff-necked people, 
I'm going to destroy them. I'm going to destroy them so that they will be gone. They will be destroyed completely. Uh, you know, and then Abraham said, no, not Abraham. Moses said, Lord God, what would, I, would, what would the Egyptians say? That if you destroy them, they would say, oh, what kind of God do you have? He took them out of Egypt only to be destroyed completely. So, um, so Moses had you know, stand, stood in the gap for the Israelites. And he said, well, if you destroy them, destroy me also. So, um, you know, so, so what happened was that God relented, relented his threat to destroy Israel, the people of Israel, because Moses had interceded for them. You know, Moses keep on saying, Lord, do not destroy them. You know, if you destroy them, you, de you would also destroy me. Just destroy me also. Because, you know, um, you promised, Lord, that you will, their, their descendants will be as um, many as the sons on the seashore, as you promised Abraham. So as a result, as I said, Moses stood in the gap for the Israelites and God did not destroy the Israelites. Also, we read in the scriptures that Daniel prayed for Israel's rest restoration. And uh, we read that in the book of Daniel chapter 10. Moses also obtained from God pardon for 600,000 men in arms, and Stephen, the imitator, imitator of the Lord and the first martyr in Christ, begs forgiveness for his persecutors. Remember um, Stephen? He was being stoned to death by the Jews, by the Jews. And then what did what did um, uh, Stephen say? Lord, do not take this as an offense against them. I forgive them, Lord. So as a result, they were not destroyed. Stephen stood in the gap. Thank you, Lord. And we also read in the book of John, chapter 17, um, that Jesus prayed for his disciples and for believers throughout eternity. Certainly, we can glean from the scriptures and teachings quoted above that intercessory prayer works. Therefore, we conclude that A, persistence in prayer until the answer was given is required. In other words, sisters and brothers, we should not give up. We should keep on interceding until we get the results. In other words, use the push method. Pray until something happens. Push method. Pray until, until something happens. We have to be persistent in our prayers. Do not stop. If you don't get the results, do not say, oh, never mind. Uh, maybe the Lord doesn't hear me. Or, you know, just don't, don't stop praying. Just keep on praying. Just keep on interceding until something happens. You know, if, if you read the book of Luke, chapter 11, verses 5 to 13, we read about, uh, you know, Jesus was, was telling a parable that, that if, if, um, if this person comes and ask, ask his friend, friend, I have a new visitor here. And he was so hungry, hungry because of his journey. Can you uh, give us the food? And Jesus says, Jesus says, um, uh, this um, man in the house, he said, no, I, I, we are already sleeping and my children are already asleep. And, but the, this man keep on saying, please, friend, give us something to eat. He said, this man, the owner of the house will stand in, will stand and give him the food because of his persistence. So he says, uh, the Lord says, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock, and the door shall be open unto you. Okay, number two, boldness or confidence before God is necessary 
to ask God to change his plans, his actions, or his mind. So we have to be bold. In the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, we have, to be ex we have to exhibit boldness. And do not say, do not be shy, Lord, you know, uh, please change your plans, change your actions on this, because Lord, you know, um, you, you may you may tell the Lord what do you your you want him to do why you want him to to change his actions or his mind or his plans you'll never know you know just just put it out there before the Lord and let the Lord decide but we have to be bold we have to be bold in asking him amen and number three amen okay the next uh just imagine okay just imagine how many lives had been changed from darkness into light or how many families have been saved from disasters from infighting and bickering among each other from hating and hurting or killing each other how many sick people have been healed or have been saved from death into life? How many souls are now in the eternal kingdom of God instead of being tormented in hell, suffering in eternal death? How many world events have been turned from grief and darkness and fear and suffering into peace and restoration and victory? How many countries have been spared of war and death and tremendous suffering into an atmosphere of peace and progress and prosperity because someone, uh, someone like you, do not say, do not underestimate, do not overestimate or underestimate yourself. Do not say, do not say, oh, I am the only person. Uh, I don't know if this is too heavy. I don't know if God will hear me. Now you have to, you know, you count in the kingdom of God. You count in the kingdom of God. So um, we here will have to intercede. What we, what we are doing here, we have to intercede for the, for instance, for the peace of the, on Ukraine and Russia, for the peace throughout the world, for the stoppage of, of uh, mass murders and terrorist attacks. You know, we have to intercede. And can you imagine? Those things will be stopped because some of us or all of us are interceding for it before the Lord from the bottom of our hearts. We can go on and on. Now, sisters and brothers, you know, if you intercede, those who are who have the heart of intercession, I would say that they are unsung heroes. Nowadays, they are unsung heroes. Those who are willing to intercede for peace, for prosperity, for the stoppage of mass murders, wars, uh, mayhem, violence, for, for the stoppage of war. So we, we are the unsung, you are the unsung heroes if you do that. I know of a person, you know, she told me, Bob, all I did was pray in tongues. I pray in the spirit. And then the Lord spoke into my heart. Pray for this, pray for that. Pray for your children. Pray for your neighbor. Uh, pray for your, for your loved ones. I said many times, he said, I, I prayed, I got up and I prayed. And then I found out that my, my, uh, Two sons, they uh, had an accident, and thank God they were on skate. And then she asked them, what time did it happen? Oh, about uh, 11.30 at night. And she said, that's the time when the Lord had prompted me to pray for you. So can you imagine that? You know, so we just have to be open to what the Lord is saying. The Lord God is always looking for people who are willing to intercede. 
people who are willing to stand in the gap and intercede because the Lord hears our prayers. So now the next, uh, the next, now God's character and words are the basis of the appeal that we have to him. We can read some of the powerful prayers of intercession in the scriptures. A true intercessor is on call 24 seven to intercede for others as the Holy Spirit connects that person or situation needing prayer. God calls every believer to pray and intercede. Yes, sisters and brothers, he calls you and me, you and I, he calls us to intercede and uh, to intercede the, for, uh, for persons or people or situations needing prayer. God all, is always looking for those people who are willing to pray and intercede. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Next. Uh, in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 to 18, St. Paul says, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. In the book of Ephesians chapter 8, verse 18, St. Paul also says, pray in the spirit at all times and in every occasion, stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. In the book of Mark chapter 11, verse 24, Jesus says, therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Sisters and brothers do not say, well, I don't know if the Lord will grant this prayer. I'm not sure, you know, where is the confidence there? No, you have to have faith. That's what the Lord says, that whatever you ask for in prayer, you have to believe that you have received it and it will be us, it will be yours. So when I pray, you know, I always pray, you know, of course, prayer for healing is an intercession. Prayer for healing is an intercession. The Lord is looking for people who are praying, who are willing and able to pray for the sick. There are so many sick people around us, around you, maybe your relatives, your neighbors, uh, people from everywhere. They are sick and they need prayer. So that's why if I hear, or if I know of someone, they would say, oh, I'm sick of this, I'm sick of that. And I would just say, okay, goodbye and good luck, be well, no. I would say, I would always say, try to say, may I pray with you. It's an intercession, it's a prayer for intercession. You know, if someone would say, oh, I'm so depressed. I'm, my, my business is losing a lot of money. I don't know, I could not meet up. I could not pay my debts. Uh, I don't know what to do. Maybe I just commit suicide. Uh, just say, may I pray with you? Just say this, uh, may, five words, may I pray with you, and then rebuke the spirit of hopelessness, the spirit of suicide, the spirit of darkness. You know, we, you'll, you'll never know that you are the, the saving grace for that person. Do not, do not be afraid, do not hesitate. Do not just say, okay, bye-bye. Get well, behave, be healed, good luck. No, pray right there and then. So in the next um, paragraphs, Jesus says in the book of Matthew chapter seven, verses seven to eight, ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, the door will be opened. So that's, we should, we should remember those words. We should remember those words that in the book of Matthew chapter seven, verses seven to eight. And in the book of second Chronicles chapter seven, 
verse 14, the Lord God says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear them from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Sisters and brothers, that's what we need. That's what we need right now. We need to humble ourselves and we need to pray and to seek the face of God and to repent from our evil ways so that the Lord will forgive our sins and heal our land. Our land is sick. Our land, are not only our land, the world is sick. Many people had been, have been been died, have been killed because of violence. Many people have been sick because of COVID-19. We need to pray. We need to turn to the Lord. Amen? Amen. And sisters and brothers, that is where lies our victory. The victory in Christ Jesus. The victory that he alone can give. Thank you and God bless you. And now I would like to ask our uh, sister, um, the, let, let me see the post teaching, uh, Sister Abby, uh, yes. it is well, it is well. Uh, by the way, the, the teaching only takes 22 minutes, praise God. And I, I was able to finish my teaching. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Uh-oh. We can use that extra minutes for later teaching. Okay, good. Okay, it is well. We'll use those up for yours, Joe. Yes. <laughs> it is well. That is a subtle hand for sure. Okay. Okay. Is everyone new to sing along with me? This is a personal you, song. You, you yourselves. If you feel like you've lost sight of God, please sing this song with me, okay? Here we go. Ground to earth has quaked before Moved by the sound of his voice Seas that are shaken and stirred Can be calmed and broken from my regard Through it all, through it all my eyes are on you through it all through it all it is well through it all through it all my eyes are on you and it is well with me for me to not believe even when my eyes can't see and this mountain that's in front of me will be thrown into the midst of the sea and through it all through it all my eyes are on you through it Try. 
eyes are on you Through it all, through it all it is well Through it all, through it all My eyes are on you And it is well Maria <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I believe Yes, my children, I am here. I am here with you. I choose to be with you. I am always with you, my children. Come, be here with me. Choose to be here with me. Choose to always be here with me. For I am walking with you. I am carrying your load. I am here to make your life the gift that I have made it. I am here because I love you. And I am here because I have a gift for you. My gift is eternity. My gift is eternity in joy. My gift is eternity in peace. My gift is eternity in love. Yes, I am here with you, my children. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, chapter 17 and 10, I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind to reward a man according to his conduct, according to what his deeds serve. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Yes, Lord. Please, if you have a word or an impression, please feel free to share it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Like somebody had pain. Somebody, I sense, a, I get a word of knowledge that um, someone had a pain it comes on and off on the crown of your head. You had pain on the crown of your head, comes on and off. Who is that person or persons? Raise your hand. Someone raise your hand. iPhone raise your hands. Yeah, that's Tessie. Evelyn. Hi, Tessie. Is that Tess? Uh, Evelyn. Okay. Who else? Uh, Evelyn. Yeah, sorry. 
Brad, also. Evelyn, who else? One more, one more, at least one more. We rejoice in that word. Thank you, Lord. There's glow. Glow, okay. Okay, you have that pain comes on and off on the crown of your head. Let us pray right now. Lord, you are very, very loving. Lord, you give us word of knowledge to heal your people and your will is to heal your people. Yes, Lord. And we are, we live up to you, Banase and Glow and, and Fred and Evelyn. Lord, that you would deliver them from uh, those uh, headaches on the crown of their head. Lord, that uh, signifies, Lord, all kinds of fear also and anxiety in the mighty name of Jesus. Be gone. We take authority over it by the power of the name and the blood of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we apply your precious healing blood, your precious healing name unto them. And Lord, we ask that uh, your angels and archangels in heaven, angels of healings and restoration to minister to them, to uh, guide them in Jesus' name, especially Saint Raphael, to minister to them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And Bob, I have a, I have a word. Um, I have a word for the people that you just prayed for, and it, it can we can all receive it. Uh, because I sensed uh, the spirit of anxiety uh, yes. before you started praying. And uh, uh, what came to me was 2 Timothy 1 7, for God has not given us a, a spirit of fear, but of power, but of power and of love and of sound mind. And Philippians 4, uh, verse, uh, chapter 4, verses 6, starting with 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God and the peace of God, which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. And, the, and what I'm receiving is be anxious for nothing. Do not be anxious, my children. Do not be anxious. Thank Amen. you, Lord. That's a beautiful Thank word. Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the confirmation, Cindy. I've been getting a word to pray for faith. There's a lot of people tonight are struggling with faith. They want to believe. They want to trust. But they just don't have it in themselves to truly grasp onto the re response that the Lord will actually listen to them. But there's a real feeling for faith tonight. Yeah. Uh, can you raise your hands, your yellow uh, button? or And Evelyn and Fred and Glow, if, uh, there we go. Unless you want to be up there for a faith one too. Okay. So we have Fred and, and Glow and Lou. Faith. There's more. There's many more that have are challenging right now. They're very challenged with the faith. So yes. don't be afraid to put up your hand and, and ask. Elsa because too. Okay. Who else? Elsa. Elsa too. Yeah. Okay. Evelyn. Okay, and Evelyn. Okay. Joe, do you like to pray for them? Yes, Lord Jesus. Lord, you are so wonderful. Lord, you said that we all we need is the faith of a mustard seed. But Lord, we don't ask just for a faith of a mustard seed. We ask for the faith to move a mountain with complete belief, complete trust. Mm. Lord, that just that you are answering our prayer. There is nothing, Lord Jesus, that is beyond you. Lord, give us the courage, the strength to appropriate this word, this promise of yours, mm. that we can truly know that when we speak in your name, that we will be answered. For you said that we would do everything that you have done and even greater things than these, Lord. And this requires us to have faith to believe this word, Lord, but to also know 
that you cannot lie and that Amen. you spoke this word to us, Lord Jesus. And if you have spoke this word, then it is true. And if it is true, that means that whatever we ask in faith, whatever we ask before the Father in your name, that it will be answered. So, mm. Lord Jesus, we come before you to ask you to magnify our comprehension of your promises to us so that we may grow in the wonder of our faith and in the belief that as we pray, you answer, that you want to answer, Lord Jesus. Even as you said to the man on the side of the road, he said, Lord, if you want to, you can make me whole. Lord, we know that you want to make us whole. We know, Lord Jesus, that you are the wonderful healer, that you are the truth, and that your truth is that we can ask and receive in your name. So anoint each one here this night, especially Fred, Glow, Lou, Tess, Evelyn, and all those others that are struggling with faith. Anoint them now with the power of faith and the power of believing in your promises and that your word is true. And we thank you for this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.